What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. It's finally time for me to do the long-awaited, long-promised, liquid-cooled Peltier refrigerator video. This is the first part of the video. This will cover the the guts of the uh, the project, which is the Peltier and the two liquid-cooled CPU systems and the testing of that to find out if it's going to work as designed. Okay, so here's what we're working with for the first part of this project. Um, first, the, uh, the core of this will be this Peltier unit, and I may end up going bigger than this eventually. This is just a 6 amp unit. Um, I'm going to start with this one. It's a little bit more powerful than the 5 amps, obviously, but not much. Um, it's still really cheap. If I have to go up to the 10 or 15 amp, then I may do that. I may also experiment with some cascading or, or sandwiching several of these things together to, to see if we get a different result. But this is the Peltier I'm going to use to start. And then to shed the heat and to um, transport the cold into the refrigerator, we'll be using two of these. These are Corsair CPU coolers they are h60 units i've got two of these brand new out of the box um, what it comes with is basically the unit itself which will attach to either the hot or the cold side here on this this basically a cold plate and uh, comes with some mount mounting hardware so that we can sandwich these things together and a fan to blow through the radiator. And the last thing that we're going to need is a power source. And this is a, if you haven't watched my other videos, this is a computer power supply that I've hacked and converted into a 12 volt bench power supply. So the yellow wires are 12 volt positive and then the black wires are negative. Okay, so these things come with most all the hardware that you're going to need. Um, specifically these mounting brackets there you'll need two of these and then it comes with these these long screws but you will need to get some some standoffs from somewhere um, these are just uh, motherboard standoffs they're very common for anyone who's built a PC before um, so nothing super special about those they just provide um, the female part of where the sc screw is going to go into so that we can cinch these things together. So as you can see, these, uh, these cold plates come with some, some um, thermal compound already on them, so you don't, you don't need any extra of that, hopefully. Um, so the, the Peltier will just attach right here on where that gray material is. and. Uh, and then we will put the mounting brackets on the back side and cinch them together with the screws and the standoffs. All right, as I'm getting into this a little bit further, it turns out that uh, my the screws that come with it are, are a little bit too long. So I had to, to scrounge up some slightly smaller screws, but they're still not, not short enough. So what I found, I, I found a couple longer standoffs that I can use on a couple of them, but on the other two I had to grab some um, some nuts and kind of thread them all the way to the end as kind of spacers uh, or shims to, uh, to allow this to work. Okay, so now we're left with something that looks like this. It's all cinched down and tight. Um, but now we've got these um, <laughs> these connectors on the end that are meant to connect to a mo computer motherboard. So we only need two of these wires and we don't need this connector. So we need to snip off the end. But before you do, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there is a there is a marker on one uh, one side or the other, the far left or the far right that denotes the negative wire. So before you snip off the end, you're going to want to make sure that you remember which one is the negative wire. And while we're at it, do the same thing for for the fan. Now, 
I'm pretty sure you can see this. See there on the left, that little arrow? So this that would mean that the far left wire is going to be the negative. And then it's just uh, the wire next to it will be the positive. Okay, now here we have um, everything plugged in and turned on. Uh, I've got, I wired all of the negative wires together and combined them into the the uh, negative side of the power supply and then I combined all of the positive wires into the positive side over there. So uh, if you need to know how to do the wiring this is probably not the video that you need to be starting with. We probably need to start you off with a more uh, beginners level tutorial about wiring and, and electric electrical basics but so we're gonna skip skip all of that um, and go into <clears throat> just focusing on the cooler itself. Now this is the hot side, this is the cold side, and I'm going to let this run for a little while, probably 15 or 20 minutes to reach its absolute maximum temperatures, and then I'm going to measure the temperature um, of both sides just to make sure kind of what we're, what we're dealing with. But more specifically, we, we care about the cold side because that's the part that's going to be going inside the refrigerator. So I'll post up some, some results here in a minute. Okay, to test this, I'm going to use this data logger that will uh, sit inside of the uh, box to register the temperature. And it, I've got it set to take a sample every 10 seconds and to simulate trying to, you know, this isn't airtight by any means, but I'm going to use this this box from the Corsair unit. I'm going to put it around um, this and uh, kind of so to kind of trap the air and uh, again we're just trying to get a, a ballpark for how well this is working. We're not trying to get exact measurements. Uh, I'm just trying to get a feel for if I need to maybe get a bigger Peltier unit. So I'm going to put put the, uh, the radiator inside this box, put the data logger in there, and run it for about 10 minutes and get some data. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I put the uh, inside packaging kind of in and trying to close it off as much as possible. Now obviously with, with some proper insulation and making it uh, airtight, uh, this will be much different. We'll, we'll get much better results, but uh, this, is, this should be good enough to, to take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the data logger out, connect it to the computer, and we'll put the results up on the screen. Okay, so here we have the data, and I apologize, I don't have any really good screen capture software, so we're just taking video of the screen. Hopefully this this shows up well. Uh, we got down to 68 degrees Fahrenheit was, was the lowest point after uh, uh, about... 15 minutes or so actually so it may have gone down slightly further if we hadn't uh, shut it off but um, but not a whole lot so I think with some proper insulation uh, again making it airtight and uh, and so forth I think we probably could get this down to about 50 55 degrees somewhere in that neighborhood with uh, with this pelt here so I don't think this is going to get me where I want it to be. So I will go ahead and order a maybe a 10 and a 15 amp just to, to test both of those but uh, the, the, the concept works and uh, so I'm going to move forward with the making the cabinet part of the, the refrigerator and uh, while I get these this Peltier ordered and thanks for watching the first part of this video.